Hello, and welcome to Black Woman Bare Minimum, a safe space where you can do the least and be the most. Here's my effort for today. Hello, ladies. Today, I want to talk about the importance of ease and relaxation in my life. You know, I remember when I asked my husband, could we move abroad? Would he consider doing that? I wanted to travel more and I just wanted to experience life in a different way. I knew I was at a point in my life and at an age where I needed a shift. And of course he was like, yeah, you know, I could do that. I'll, <laughs> I, that sounds like a great idea because I think he was at a point in his life too where we were just getting tired of the grind. You know, we had done what we were supposed to do. We went to college, we developed our careers, we developed different streams of income, and it just seemed like it wasn't bringing us exactly what we wanted. And I'm telling you this because. I think a lot of times people believe that you will never be able to achieve what you desire in life or the lifestyle you desire because they are unable to achieve it or they believe they cannot achieve it. Our birthday was yesterday, actually. We went out yesterday, too. And today we're going to one of my favorite restaurants, which is Angelina, so I'm excited. It's a Parisian restaurant, it's a French restaurant. Um, so yeah, that's what we're doing right now. You see it, it's that way? Okay. Just because it's not, it doesn't have a seat. You know, It's obvious I'm a black woman. I don't harp on um, the issues of being a black woman too much because I have found ways to not worry about that, to not reflect on that, and to not let that emotionally damage me. I am not a part of the pro-black community. I am not a part of these communities that have this, oh, I'm fake pro-black women, I'm fake sisterhood. No, I'm pro me and I am pro family and I'm pro my interests and desires and what I want to do. And I'm also pro helping those who need help. And I don't care what type of person you are, where you come from, if there is anything that I can do to help a true sister, I would do that, you know? And people who know me know that. So I'm not here to prove that. I'm not here to always talk about Blackistan or issues that we face as Black women, um, whether it be our weight struggles, whether it be Um, skin tone, whether it be our hair texture, you know, there's always something for someone to talk about. And it's funny to me because I've, I've embraced peace. You know, I've embraced a lifestyle that gives me a spiritual outlet to connect with God, to connect with my husband on a very deep level, to connect with my siblings and my talents and my gifts and I know I have a purpose on this earth and it is not to harp on all the trials that we face as women in general no matter what race you are or the trials that I face as a black woman because I'm a happy woman okay and In life, you're going to face problems. And I'm aware that everyone is not in the situation where they can live mostly at ease, you know, where you have the support that you need to be able to truly tap into what makes you a woman. And that is not lipstick, a wig, long lashes, 
um, a tight body. You know, all of these things are things you can do if, if you feel like it makes you feel great. But truly the essence of who I am is my character and my spirit. And you all know I love beauty. I love style. I love self-improvement. I've been on a long journey of self-improvement over the last couple of years. It has been a struggle. It still is a struggle in certain areas. But I have found a very content space of ease, peace, and relaxation. And this is what truly helps you to bring out those best qualities as a woman. You know, this is what helps me with all of the endeavors that I do that are creative, that are just important to me, not even trying to make a certain amount of money. Like, it's just important to have different outlets so that you can contribute to the world. And... I do that. And some of those things I will discuss here and some of the things are, you know, I won't discuss here, but mostly I just enjoy living, sipping on my tea, you know, planning out my day, finding out how I can make my home more comfortable and inviting, discussing how I can be of assistance to my community and other women who are like-minded because quite frankly, I don't mind all the different opinions on the internet. I just may not agree. And I may come on my platform and address things that I know are not true, that are evil, that are way out there and crazy, and that I know is going to hurt other women. And listen, we all have gone through things that, have, you know, tried to break our spirit. But one thing about me is my spirit has never stayed broken. I've always been like that caterpillar (laughs) that turned into a butterfly. And I do have to credit my mother for that and my father and my grandparents and my aunties and all the people who poured into me, even people from my church that I grew up with, they always poured into me. They always let me use my talents. They always encouraged me. And that part of my upbringing is a clear indicator of why I've been able to thrive against all odds, against the odds of naysayers and people who say, you can't do that. You can't do that. What? People who don't agree with your lifestyle, because a lot of people think we should be workhorses. You know, they think we should be running after men and being male identified and taking our clothes off and doing anything to get a man to love us. And if you didn't read that post on my community tab, I want you to go read that because I have never had to earn my husband's love. First of all, I know how to be a woman. And even through all my flaws, he could clearly see the qualities that I had. And because of that, we were able to join together and trust each other. And any opportunity that he has to give me a life of ease, he does that. And he doesn't need to have some super... Um, resource access to do it. He just gives me whatever he has. And I think that women need to understand, you know, you're looking for someone who is going to open up to you, who is going to be strong, who is not going to, you know, go along with your foolishness, but who's going to be somebody that is able to help you grow. Because life is all about relationships. It is even with career and networking. um, If you want family, we know marriage is important for that because it, it gives the community a stable balance. And so when people talk about how relationships aren't important, you know, I don't relate to that. I might relate to them on another level or in another area, but I don't relate to that because a relationship is one of the reasons I can live in peace, a leisure lifestyle, okay, with help, 
you know i get help here i have people who come in to help me clean you know if i wanted to i can get someone to come in here and cook but you know i've been trying to you know go gourmet a little bit (laughs) not really but you know i've been trying to like cook more because i didn't used to like cooking but i find that it's very relaxing when you have time and you're not constrained under so much pressure pressure you know I just want to say that you don't have to be out here trying to do the most to prove yourself to anyone. You don't have to be a part of any clique, any group that you feel does not match with your life. And that's how I am. I don't need to fit in. I don't need to fit in anywhere because I fit in with the people that love me and they fit in with me and friends sometimes come and sometimes go but anyone can go who does not understand you can't interfere with the way I live my life and that your opinions of my life does not affect me and so I'm just out here living a life of ease being taken care of being loved on And when I go through trials in life, it's okay because I know that God has my back until I die. I know that whatever happens in my life, and I've been through all kinds of things in my life, you know, no matter what happens, there's always a certain peace that I have in my heart because I know who to turn to. And I know we live in an age where people don't believe in God anymore or they believe in whatever God they create and they have their ideas and some people may be agnostic. And honestly, you know, I don't care. (laughs) You know, I, I, I care. I want people to know the truth and I want them to have real peace and knowledge and 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 tools but i'm not here to tell anyone how to live people can live however they want so my channel really is for the woman that does want to level up in the true sense of we want to be the best women that we can be not only for ourselves but for our family for our community And for our creative outlets so that we can use our talents and our gifts. And mostly, I'm here for rest and relaxation. And no one's going to take that from me. I love nice things. I love beautiful places. I don't prioritize that over people. Because I would never want people to prioritize things over me. The people that are truly in my life. But... I am totally fine with sipping on my tea, having wonderful meals, you know, getting the items that I want, seeing different cultures and seeing how people live differently from me. And I can appreciate all of that, but that doesn't affect how I live. I know what I want in life. And that's what I would encourage you to strive for, not just for materialism. Strive for peace, peace of mind, body, mind, and soul. And so I just came to tell you today, ladies, I had a wonderful birthday, a wonderful weekend, but this is my life all of the time. And I'm coming to tell you I'm doing the least while being the most. And if you're here for it, stay. If you're not here for that, I wish you well on your journey. I'll talk to you later, ladies. Bye-bye.